Good evening folks. Uh, this is my latest project, or at least it will become a project. It's a Chinese copy of the Golmatic MD23. This is called uh, the CX-16. It's uh, a copy with a number of, uh, let's say, uh, uh, simplifications and um, not built to the same standard as a, as a Golmatic. Um, <clears throat> for example, the Golmatic has ISO 30, this is MT2, Morse Taper 2, and it has uh, 2800 RPM. Uh, it's a geared head like the Golmatic, but the Golmatic I think has over 4K as max RPM, so it's a little bit heftier. The Golmatic also has a um, uh, rouleau or, or um, wig liner material on the XY table. This has not. And the Golmatic is, I suppose, uh, better machined. This has all, not all, but some trademarks of a Chinese uh, uh, budget machine. But it's, of course, much cheaper than the Golmatic, so um, I think um, uh, having wanted the Golmatic for a long time and uh, this came along, I think I'll be pleased. It uh, can swivel the head, so in this case it's a horizontal mill or actually a lathe, because you have a tailstock support you can build on here. And with the quill, the quill is better organized or supported than the, on the HPM 45, I can say. And then of course you have a possibility to swivel the head around normally with the angle or, or directly uh, down. You have a horizontal support here if you want to. Uh, I can show you the uh, what I mean by not having really uh, up to standards here, and also the table. And this is the um, casting uh, on which the saddle comes, and. Um, like many other uh, budget mills, they have uh, opted to machine and then scrape or try to flake these surfaces, which we at least um, in class uh, were taught that uh, you shouldn't do. They haven't done much of a good job either, so uh, they should probably have left these alone and instead have uh, flaked or scraped the underneath of what you put on top here. This is a relief and then I measured down to each side here. I find that there are um, uh, not the same. So either this is wrong or one of these are not in plane with the other. So um, we'll have to measure up there to see. And you can also see how it bears only here and here. That might be where on the opposite side and just a little bit inside here. Um, yeah, but I'll scrape it any, anyway. And then these irritating tendencies to want to almost always flake the top side here and not doing a really great job quite deep marks, so, well, well. And this is the saddle, or also the uh, in and out feed, that rides onto the casting. So this is the bottom here, and you can see here, they have relieved the part that is towards you like this. So that um, when you go in and out, it's only touching on this part here. This is actually relieved here. Um, not sure if I like that, but anyway, that's the way they've done it. Probably as a 
tribute to Goldmatic. I guess that's where they've seen that. And um, one thing that is lacking on most of these Chinese machines I've seen is oil canals, oil lines. Or the oil lines, actually, they are there, but distribution on the ways. And here is also where we have learned that you should put the, the flaking or or scraping not on top in the uh, so that it's just for eye wash really but if you put them on top of, of uh, so it's exposed it's also exposed to dirt and it's easier to to get dirt in but at least this is the saddle so this is rice like this and then on top of that comes the table of course this way like so and uh, that's machined nicely really can't see anything wrong with it apart from the fact that It's a little bit rough and it's only milled so uh, wrong or not wrong or, uh, but at least uh, if it is accurate that will ride a little bit rough in comparison with a smoother ground and the scraped surface but it also is at least not liable to stick but I will scrape that, so um, I'm sure. So this is how it looks. And uh, it has a throw of uh, approximately end to end of the saddle. is okay and then the the throw here is of course only until you get here and you can wonder why they didn't leave this machined so you had full support I don't know but anyway but at least I would have wanted this to be extended all the way through here And then the head, as said, quill and uh, fine feed. Just uh, engage and spring load it back. And comparison with the HPM, you have supports here and also more accurately machined. And this is actually very accurate uh, the taper, and uh, there are hardly any run, run out here. I can fire it up so you can have a go. I'll be darned, it worked. Just move the, the collet truck a wee bit. And the head is geared, so firing it up at the lowest speed. Two stage motor. And the uh, second highest. And highest. So, um, around one horsepower motor, which is of course a little bit on the low side, but uh, for this machine, okay. Um, this is a much sturdier design than the head, as on the HPM, you know, where the the normal way. Uh, the plate is bigger here and it's, it's more securely mounted, I would say. 
also less overhang. So I think uh, uh, this design is uh, uh, better actually. And this is how it looks with the overarm. So you can imagine them being used as a horizontal mill also. So it's just mounted like that. And the arbor is of course empty to tapered inside here like that. And as a very simple lathe, uh, the built-on uh, casting hair here with tailstock. You can move this in and out, lock it, and then you have the quill also in addition. Uh, we'll at least um, make it function somewhat similar to a lathe for simple operations. Uh, what can be useful now is um, raising the head so you can swing larger diameters and it has a, a special chuck uh, plate design just on here with the uh, three screws and the chuck on there again so that's a little bit special but this uh, needs a much better alignment than what the Chinese he has uh, done. They have done a lousy job of copying the Golmatic here. Um, so if I'll use some time on this, I, I think I'll have to figure out, maybe extend this a little bit further out and make some something, uh, at least it's not accurate enough. And lastly, with the vise here, very simple vise used for milling. And this is what I intend to use it for also. I mean, it's a, it's a compromise if you we want to buy this as a combination machine, which, you know, I don't need to. I bought it for a mill, uh, for a mill with a quill. Uh, yeah, and then there is a a tailstock also for thing for grinding and uh, the rotary table anyway nice um, mill head sturdy quill high rpm small envelope yes but probably <laughs> i mean i have the the big shoveling i probably won't need it uh, or won't have the need to go uh, beyond what this can do. So, great. Another thing that is almost always lacking, even though this has covers for the tower here, you know, the column, but you don't have any wipers. So I don't know why. Neither wipers nor proper oil canals that's lacking on these Chinese mills.